Hello, hello, it's Quentin with the Fashion Doll. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are here with something a little different today. I guess this will be one of my unpopular opinion videos. <laughs> no one asked, but I'm going to tell you because that's just what I do. I am in my sister's Ivy Park today. I forgot what drop this is from, but I have the underside is my mint green. Yes, honey. But I wanted to wear something. Um, from my sister Beyonce, because I always support her. Milo, support me, bitch! Don't be fighting with me! I'm going through everything! Because today we're talking about um, brands and products from celebrities, specifically black ones. Before we get into it, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you are new or you just haven't subscribed yet. I talk about fashion design dolls plants and whatever i want to at this point but yes honey get into it i'm trying to get to 500 but we i'm gonna start off with uh miss rihanna oh let me turn my fan up let's hot fan me off miss rihanna recently announced that she would be coming out uh with a hairline with hair products fenty hair which is, it is what it is. I guess that is a natural progression. You have skin, beauty. I guess you would just do hair next. Um, when I read the comments, it seems like everyone had, was pretty positive. Like, oh, they were so excited. Um, and not to say that I have a problem with it, with it. I just found it to be funny because when my sister announced her hairline product, Sacred, Everyone was so negative and had so much to say. Uh, now, I know the general public li likes to lie and say that Rihanna is a fashion icon. I don't feel that she is. Maybe in the past, but not for the past five to seven years. It hasn't been it for me. Neither has her hair. I don't think Rihanna's hair has ever been... <clears throat> something to aspire to it might have been different colors she gave us cuts like when she had her umbrella the bob that was stunning when she did her pixie cup would take a bow like she has moments and you remember them but i don't think anyone goes oh rihanna just has a bad like her hair be be laid no and i'm gonna put some pictures on the screen she has had some horrible hairstyles and in recent years her hair has just, I just don't understand. She just throw wigs on. Even in the promo for her promoting Fenty hair, she has on a wig. She has on a blonde wig that's not even cute. But the, the conversation around Sacred being released was we've never seen Beyonce's real hair. And we've seen Beyonce's real hair numerous times, actually. <laughs> if you actually pay attention to Beyonce, during her I Am Sasha Fierce era, she uh, was actually wearing some of her natural hair then and doing some of her own makeup. But the people who aren't real fans wouldn't know or pay attention. I want to say in the If I Were a Boy video, that's her hair. But the girls just want to assume that Beyonce doesn't have any hair. Um, but if we're using that as a measurement for if someone is an authority or if we should trust their products, Beyonce's mother is a hairstylist. She grew up performing in her hair salon. Her mother would do her hair. Her and her sister, her mom, they all have nice, lovely hair. So what are we talking about? And to keep this going, this has been a narrative with Beyonce. Anytime she puts out products, some people just love to be naysayers. The girls will say that no one bought Ivy Park. 
Ivy Park will be sold out on the Adidas site all the time and on ASOS in Nordstrom. Um, so that's not so. If you uh, look on YouTube now, so many people, celebrities and actors on shows will literally be on shows in Ivy Park. Candace Diller on Potomac in Ivy Park. Um, when Ivy Park was at Top Shop, people definitely bought it and wore it. But let the girls tell it, no one was interested in Ivy Park. And on the flip side, the narrative is always that all of Rihanna's products are just the bee's knees and they all succeed. But if we go back, let's see what year it was. Rihanna had a, a collection with River Island for some years, but that's not here today. She also um, had a clothing line under Fenty with LVMH that they paused. And also to mention LVMH, Rihanna is backed by LVMH, which is a fashion conglomerate who also owns Louis Vuitton, Moet, and Hennessy, and a lot of other brands. I don't think that Beyonce is backed by such a large company when she puts out these things. But y'all keep talking now. So this was like around 2013. And it was cute, but they didn't keep it going. She also had a line with Puma. She had clothes and shoes. It stopped. They've since brought it back. But it's just, it's just funny how it's always a different narrative. And just to um, further illustrate my point, when Mary J. Blige came out with her boots with uh, Giuseppe Zanotti, People were very negative. Mary J. Blige's fan base don't have $1,500 to spend on boots. Um, and then I also feel like people just wouldn't, because it's Mary J. Blige and she's a black woman, we're not going to spend this much money. But if it was Gucci, you would. Or when Jennifer Lopez had um, shoes with Giuseppe Zanotti, I don't remember this being the same narrative. When Rihanna had... I think a couple pairs of shoes and boots with Giuseppe Zanotti. This was not the narrative. Um, so to the naysayers, Mir J. Baj's boots actually sold out. So the people did have money. I love my brother Funky Dineva. On his life, he said, well, we don't know how many units they had when they sold out. We don't ever know how many units these people have when they sell out. When Rihanna's products are sold out, do we know how many they had? When Skim sells out, do we know how many they have? We do not. It also seems like black people aren't trusted in the fashion and beauty space, which makes no sense because we probably spend the most money on definitely beauty and are like always at the forefront of fashion and beauty changing. So why would you not trust a Southern black woman whose mother was a hairstylist to give you hair products? Why would you not trust a black woman from the Bronx. Is Mary J. Blige from the Bronx or Brooklyn? Who, you know, they're known for being fly, fly, fresh to death. She stays in a pair of boots consistently. Why wouldn't you buy her boots? Why wouldn't you trust the boots that uh, Mary J. Blige is giving you? But on the flip side, we ate up Rihanna's uh, skin products and, and makeup. I do know that when her makeup came out, it was so groundbreaking because of all of the shades. But aside from that, I don't think that Rihanna is known for her beauty or her makeup. Not saying she's not beautiful. I don't think she's known for being just so daring and on red carpets and her every day with the makeup that she wears. And I'm going to put some pictures on the screen. I could have seen Solange having a makeup line. Solange would do a lot of... Um, creative, innovative makeup looks. Or if we look at Ariana Grande, who always has on graphic eye makeup, she has a makeup line, so it makes sense. So if that's going to be the measure you need to be seen in, in the products that you put out, this needs to uh, coincide with your branding and persona, then that should just be across the board. And I want the people to just start being honest if you don't like Beyonce, just say that. If you don't want to buy something that Beyonce puts out, just say that. And it's just so simple. Or with Mary J. Blige or whoever. But to say, oh, 
we don't see their hair. What do they have to do with hair? No. And Beyonce's hair is consistently laid for years, while the other girls had horrible lace fronts. Hers was stunning. And before we wrap up, were the girls naysayers when Tracy Ellis Ross came out with Pattern? I don't remember hearing that. And Pattern has extend, expanded their product line. They have blow dryers. They were immediately down to the Ulta and all of these other big name stores. Taraji P. Henson has a hairline. I think she's in Target. Uh, I just want us to start being honest and valuing products from people that look like us. If you will spend $1,500 on a boot from Gucci, you could spend $1,500 on a boot from Auntie Mary, okay? If you could spend however Rihanna's, uh, however much Rihanna's line or her perfume is, you could spend the same on my sister Beyonce's. So I just want this to be a lesson in fairness. I think sometimes we can check our biases because sometimes it's hard to admit that you have them, but you do. Hating Beyonce and just hating um, black American women, it's like a hobby. <laughs> and I need y'all to stop. Protect black women, hashtag protect black women, honey. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Will you be purchasing some of Fenty hair? Um, and just to be shady, Sacred is releasing minis of the hairline. I will be purchasing some of the minis because I hadn't gotten around to purchasing the hairline, but I've always planned to. And I'm just not used to spending that much on hair products because I'm a man. But because I am blonde, I'm going to try my sister's products. I really want to try that rice water treatment. But yes, let me know what you thought about this video. Please comment your thoughts. If you want to argue, we could do that too. Please um, subscribe again if you're if you're new here or just haven't. Um, I will have a design story video soon. I'm going to do something really different, so hopefully y'all like it. But that's why I'm taking a minute to put it out. But it will be out soon. Um, but yes, I will see y'all soon. Enjoy the rest of your week. June has been a lovely month, y'all. Praise God for June. Happy June.